stop beats bang beats knock whole block feel the bone cause the vibe feel the room heads turn feel this listen close just rock to the beat head bop beats bang beats knock laid back head bop beats bang beats knock whole block feel the bone cause the vibe feel the head heads turn feel this listen, listen close just rock to the beat head bop beats bang beats knock laid back laid back laid back sorry I'm I'm eating. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, I guess we're going to paint the Jeep. I got the Jeep in here. I've already sanded this side. I didn't know exactly what I was going to do or how I was going to paint it. I said I wanted to go with tan or army green. This bacon fender is just... <sighs> Sorry. I'm going to have to replace this fender if I ever do anything. But I don't really want to because it's already cut and everything how I want it. So I think I'm in the future. Uh, once I get like a compressor, if I ever do get a compressor in here, I'm just going to cut more up here a little bit. So there's plenty of clearance and cut straight down. Actually, I might cut this off. I've seen people do this before, cut this off and then build like a sort of bracket thing to bolt this piece to. This piece so it's not flimsy. And then... You know, trim, of course, right through here. Give me y'all's opinions on that. But yeah, thought about doing that because this is kind of jacked up from where the tire hits it and just keeps on hitting it. So thought about just trimming a little more there. I've already sanded this side down and I did a small thing of what the Army Green, because I had Army Green paint my old bike. So I tested it out to see what it might look like. And it doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> so I went today and I bought four cans. <laughs> five cans. One, two, three, four, five. This is the old can I had. I just, it's empty now, of course. But I sprayed it just that little bit there just to see what it might look like. But yeah, this is the color it's going to be. And I guess you could see like what it's going to look like there. It's kind of hard to tell, but... It won't be this bright green. This is not a bad color, but I just don't like the really bright green. There's bugs flying everywhere because the doors are open. But yeah, got this side sanded down. That's metal. That's not uh, mud that you see there. I don't even know if you can see it in the video, but yeah, sand this down. I'm going to sand the back down, sand the hood down. I may take the hood off. I'm not sure. It's a pain because it's got those spacers in it and... I do have to take the hood pins off and these little covers for to cover the little hole. It's going to be interesting to see how big that hole is. So I'm going to take those off so I can paint there. Cover all this up, of course, and cover the tires up. Sand this side down. It's probably getting really dark right here. No, it's not too bad. Sand this side down and cover up all these little black like strips going down through here. I'm going to cover up all those and that too. I got some thick tape to go over that, or wide tape, I guess. And I gotta get some newspaper. But yeah, also got these pieces. I bought them from bought them from Keystone today. It's this piece and this corner lot. Uh, when I bought the Jeep, or when I got the Jeep, bought it or whatever, uh, it didn't have that piece there, so uh, Keystone has it in stock so i just bought it from them <laughs> with uh, my discount it was like three dollars <laughs> for that and then four dollars for the other piece so six dollars in total it's not bad and uh, these pieces are good they're just flimsy which i could put a screw in right there and fix that but luckily this side was good and i only needed one side but it's gonna look a lot better with that but yeah we'll get to sand it down and i'll let you know i'm actually making a time lapse on painting a jeep um however long the time lapse is and I, oh yeah i don't know if i mentioned this to y'all but i'm gonna trim that piece up right there bam because I, I did that to my last sheet look really good this here is gonna be the time lapse so i'm like i am gonna move the jeep around so i'm gonna send it down first and time lapse that back it back in and do the other side i may just pull it in the middle so i can just tote the camera around because if you noticed my lights uh, every light has a bulb out except this one. That one has a bulb out. That one has a bulb out. 
this opposite side. So that's why it's so dark over there. And then this one's out completely. And they were all worked when I moved in, but they don't no more. So I took this bulb out, it's over there. And tomorrow I'm gonna go buy bulbs uh, to put, to replace all the bad bulbs. And I'm thinking about buying two more lights, but the LED ones, and put them on that, that wall right there. And this wall and face them sort of in, inward. I thought about doing that. I don't know if I am or not. Also gotta buy a strip, a, uh, a circuit strip or whatever, because that plug and that plug are the only plugs that work. And there's plugs all over these walls. There's two over there, one right there, 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 all the way around this thing. But none of them work and I'm not sure why. They're on at the breaker. I went up there to check and see if there were wires were messed up or anything. None of the wires are messed up or chewed through. They're all hooked up. So I'm not sure what the deal is with those, but the only ones that work are that one and that one, which you plug the doors up into. And I have this door locked <laughs> because I gotta fix it. And right here, as you can see, this came loose. That's the only bad thing. And this came loose. They, un they undid this, I think. It's gonna be a pain, I guess, to get that on. And then the, one of the rollers is gone down there. So there's like a lot to do to fix that door. But that door works perfect because I fixed it <laughs> at first. It wasn't, it didn't pull up. You just picked it up by hand. And I got the motor, I got, I got the motor hooked up back to this piece in the track and it actually works. It pulls it up and down and all the rollers are on it. I had to fix these little things, but not bad, it works. I guess that was kind of like a, a shop update <laughs> along with the, the Jeep update. Yeah, I am going to be taping this thing up and painting it and getting all that done. And uh, yeah. Oh, check this out. I posted this on Instagram. But this right here, I found it. And like these are like my old stuff that I keep that I don't really use anymore. And it's like stuff, some of the stuff start from when I was a kid. And uh, like that box up there, <laughs> it's got like a bunch of companies written on it with uh, like a permanent marker. I've had that box since I was like 12. It was originally in a toolbox. I took all the tools out of it when I lost everything. And I put like skateboard stuff in it. I don't know, it's just a long story. It's, it's cool though. I've had it since I was like 12. Anyway, that was in there with this. I got this camera when I was 13, 14. This is what I started filming my skateboard videos with. And uh, I, I went all the way to 16. I used this all the way to 16. And uh, I filmed with it when I was 16. Uh, when I ollied the 8 set in Fairview, I was using that to film. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And it still works, but it only works if you hook it up to the charger. So, And it's really bad quality. So, <laughs> Oh, and this. I'm going to put this on one day. It's an antenna for a CB, because I am getting a CB to put in there. And I guess I'm gonna try and mount it back here somewhere. I think that right here would probably be perfect and it wouldn't hit on the top of that as coming in and out. I thought about doing it like this and doing like an angle. I thought that would be my, be, I think that would be different for sure. But I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. So yeah, just ideas and I want to do the doors the hinges the hinge mod Where you do the hinges and you can take the doors on and off, but the problem is these have power windows. So I'm gonna have to do the uh, The like where you plug it in when you when you put the door on or I'm gonna have to do the plug right there So which won't be a bad deal, but I just I've always had jeeps with manual doors So they were super easy to mod and take off if you didn't know, I've had like 14,000 Miatas and I've had 13,000 Jeeps. It's like the only things I like. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's in my mod, my bio. I'm not totally sure. I think I might have took it out. But I'm like a Miata guy at heart and I'm a Jeep guy at heart too. So I've had a, I've legit had like, I don't know, I probably had like 10 to 20 Jeeps and I probably had 10 to 20 Miatas. I've had a bunch. And uh, it's just my favorite type of vehicles. Miatas are super fun, slow as shit, super fun. 
Jeeps, you can literally do anything to a Jeep. It's not going to hurt it, especially the ones with the four O's. Like some have the four cylinders, never had one with a four cylinder in it, but all the Cherokees that I've had have the four O's. And I'm not very, uh, <laughs> I'm not a light driver. <laughs> and if you know me, I tend to drive pretty hard. So, <laughs> so uh, if you know me, you know me. I, I really put cars to the limit, to the test. So yeah, if you're wondering why I have the Acura, and I've had the Acura in many videos. Uh, if you're wondering why I have that, I thought it was a cool car. And I've always wanted one. I bought it, and I like it. It's a it's an automatic, and it's a TL Type S. It's 2008 model. I do like it. I really do. Uh, but I like it as a daily driver. It's not like a not like a car that I want to like fix up. I do want to lower it because it look really good lower. I want to put a foot front lip on it. But that's probably about as far as I go. If I do anything to it, it'll probably be like a probably like a cold air intake sort of stuff like that. just a little small stuff uh, nothing major I'm not gonna make that like a race car or anything like that so I do have a surprise tomorrow if the county doesn't go on lockdown and make us stay home uh, me and crispy you you seen him in my videos before or his nickname is crispy his name's Chris we are going to we've got a surprise for you guys and I'm going tomorrow to pick it up and bring it here. I'm going to make a video on it. Chris, obviously, also has a surprise for you guys. And it has to deal with the gambler. And mine also has to deal with the gambler. But mine's also going to be like a super... Uh, it's going to be a really, really crazy project that I have. So we're going down there. I'm going to film it. And we're going to bring it back here to my shop. But yeah, we're going to do a little work on the Jeep. Because I'm going to have to pull the Jeep out. And... I was going to do the time lapse on the time lapse video of painting a Jeep. Hopefully in like 10 minutes. <laughs> It'll be like a 10 minute video. 10, 10 minute time lapse. But yeah. So I will update you guys. I'm just going to sand the whole thing down tonight. Like I said. And that fender's pretty beat up. But I'm not really worried about the fenders. Because I know they're going to get beat up. Especially me like trail riding and stuff. I keep looking instead of looking at the camera and looking. <laughs> Dude, you could really see the dents. Like I, said, I didn't even see that dent when I wasn't like when I was just looking. When I looked into the camera, you can like really see the dents. The only good thing is the only dents are on the fenders. They're not. There's no dents out there, and there's no dents on the hood. And you, you really can't even see this bacon. Well, yeah, you can. I guess you can't really. Yeah, you can. I was about to say, you couldn't really see it. There's no dents in the doors. Uh, this is pretty beat in right here. A little closer. But they did that when they <gasps> rolled the fenders. Now I have hiccups. But yeah, I'm going to try and make this look uh, very good, like I said. And uh, I'll update you guys in a bit. And stay tuned for that time lapse, which I have sitting right over there. Uh, just stay tuned for that. I wanted to point this out if you are on lockdown or something like that I challenge you because I don't know exactly what you're gonna get into if you're a content creator you probably know what to do you just probably create content because I mean you would have all the times the world all the time in the world but uh, if you're not if you just watch YouTube videos and you're thinking about getting into doing uh, YouTube or anything like that pick up your phone or your camera if you have a camera that's accessible you don't necessarily have to have a camera to make content because what you don't know is you have a phone that shoots good quality video so pick up your phone if you this is if you were ever thinking about doing uh you know youtube or creating any kind of content like a show on facebook or a facebook page or something like that uh pick your phone up just make sure your phone is 1080 60 frames per second it can be 30 frames if you're doing if you're doing like how we did up on that those episodes which flopped <laughs> but we're gonna bring them back <laughs> they're gonna be better than ever I sound like donald trump they're gonna be great <laughs> but yes pick your phone up if you're doing a stationary video some some sort of like this uh, 30 frames is fine 
Uh, if you're doing, if you're walking around like this, 60 frames probably a little bit better. 30 frames would be okay, but 1080, 60 frames, uh, ears, thousands of apps on uh, on your phone where you can, you know, just get the one that doesn't have like watermarks. It really don't matter. Uh, you can use it for watermarks. Uh, yeah, and just shoot something. Try it. I mean, it's fun. Sometimes. <laughs> no, it's fun all the time. It really is. Just pick your phone up, try and shoot it. Uh, you can either shoot like a sit down episode, or like I said, you can get up and walk around and do something, just vlog in the yard or whatever. Or you can go the route of streaming or recording. God, there's bugs. They keep coming off that, landing on me. I have to stand on the line. Sound like somebody was walking by. Sometimes it's weird shooting content while I'm um, uh, got the door open because people walk up and down this road all the time. And uh, they're like, look in. <laughs> like, what is he doing? Who's he talking to? He's the only one there in a Jeep. But yeah, if you want, like I said, if you want to, it's very easy. It really is. Uh, tripods are like any $10 and under to hold your phone up. They always come with a phone clip every time. You can usually find them pretty cheap, especially like uh, if you got like a bargain hunt around, you're going to find them cheap there. You're going to find several cheap. They'll be like 3 to $5 there. It works. They extend probably a foot, something like that. But yeah, if you want to shoot content, I've been wanting to say that. If you want to shoot content, try it. Especially right now while everybody's, or while some of the cities, big cities too, are in lockdown, which most people in LA already make content. So it's like, you know, most people out there do that anyway. But yeah, and I hope everybody's okay. I think I mentioned that in another video. Uh, just wash your hands, stay safe. Uh, if you're having to continue to work, you know, just stay safe. I don't, I don't under, I don't know how to tell you anymore to stay safe. Just wash your hands and keep good hygiene. You should be all right. You should be good. I'm still working. Our, our shop is working till all the body shops close down. Cause you know, I work at Keystone, which is where I buy most of my parts uh, and because I get a discount there. So it's a really good discount. Um, gotcha. But yeah, I work at Keystone. We're gonna keep working until um, all the body shops close up or stop, you know, because of all this crazy chaos. I don't want to say it because you get demonetized, stuff like that. So. Or the bot, YouTube bot, because there's nobody, <laughs> there's like a few people at YouTube right now, or Google, or whatever, runs this platform. So they use the bot, and then the bot's demonetizing all the those videos. But yeah, stay safe. Uh, like I said, I'm working still, but we're practicing, we have to, we're practicing good hygiene, you know, with the keeping our hands clean and stuff like that, getting in the car, or getting in the truck, and washing our hands before we touch anything and take off and have disinfecting wipes in the truck it's just like crazy so, i always kept like you know those wipes that you buy that you can clean your dash with like you detail your cars i've always had that in my truck in my cars and now i've got disinfecting wipes it's like a lysol wipe so you like wipe everything down and it leaves streaks everywhere but i don't care because it's, it's cleaning it so killing the germs but yeah all jokes aside, you know, stay safe and and uh, hope we. I hope we come out of this. Seems like a pretty good. Uh, seems like we are going to come out of this. I'm keeping up with everything. I know there's a lot more cases. But anyway, I'll stop talking about that. Back to the Jeep. Okay, so I've got this fender sanded, the hood sanded down, and the, this little front header panel. Sand it down. I've just I just put that over there so I don't scratch the grill while sanding it. I did use the hand palm sander on it a little bit, but I did hand sand like this piece right here, just so I'd make sure I got it. But uh, oh man, it's a little bit scratched up. See that? Huh? This was four dollars. So mine's oh, it's chrome. They painted it. I should have known because that mirror is chrome. I got the black one. Oh well, I wanted the black ones anyway, so 
It must have had the chrome grill in it too. That's probably why this grill just like does not fit right. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna probably buy this piece tomorrow and I'll probably this see see how what color that is? And then you get this one I bought from Keystone. It's a lot brighter. I guess because it's new. Look at that. See the difference? So I think I'm gonna buy this piece and this piece tomorrow at Keystone. And I'm thinking about buying these pieces too, because they're I don't know, I might just leave those. I think I'm going too far when I'm buying these. <laughs> getting these new. <laughs> but I am for sure getting this in the black and this one in that new color. New because it's newer, so it'll look better. So I'm gonna just get that. I'm about to take these hood pin uh circles off. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm about to take those off. I did get this side down. I already showed you all that. This side already sanded down. Tomorrow I'll back it in and do the other side and the hatch, get it finished. But yeah, this is all for now, at least. Oh, I did. I was gonna show you all. I, I did finally got it cleaned up. As if, if you can tell, the windows are super, super clean. It looks like they're down because they're so clean. But uh, you can't really tell because this, this light up here and that headliner is junk. But that light is so not bright. I want to put an LED in it, but it's a different style. Um, wow, that's super bright now. Uh, it's a different style light. I don't know if you can see it if I put it up there close. Yeah, see? It's a different style than my LEDs, but I think I'm going to try and make it work. And uh, but yeah. I cleaned all the windows up. I took those stickers off the back because I didn't really, wasn't really too fond of them. There was a big old sticker here. I took it off the back. You've probably seen it. I was going to take that off. I forgot. It's like affordable off-road or something like that. But yeah, there was a big old green sticker there. And then there was a sticker up here. I don't know if y'all seen it. But right here. And it said... Um, I can't remember what it said. It was like, I'm dirty feed me or I don't, I don't know it's some weird but I took it off <laughs> I wasn't too fond of it either and they got jeep stickers on here they got one there and they got one on all the wheels which you've probably seen it says jeep on the wheel you can't see that because it's so dark but yeah I didn't get it cleaned up wiped the dash off got it all clean I'm gonna put my CB either here or I'm gonna put it up here but I'm not gonna keep this headliner so uh, I'm taking these out and a headliner out and I'm going to put different lights up and I'm going to put a uh, wink mirror in here. As for my new project that I'm getting tomorrow that y'all can't know about until tomorrow. So, but yeah. So I got to buy two wink mirrors. I'm buying, I'm also getting uh, uh, lunchbox lockers. I think that's what you call them. I'm going to buy those. The last locker I bought was a Detroit locker. I put it in my old my old Jeep Detroit locker in the front and the back, but they're really expensive. And I, their, their customer service is really good though with Detroit locker. Cause, uh, I was out riding and sheared one of the gears off cause I had superior axles in superior axles in Detroit lockers. And, uh, the axles like sheared the gear in that Detroit locker. It was insane. I can't believe like it sheared a Detroit locker, but they sent me the piece cause we took it apart and see what was wrong. And they sent me the piece to it and uh, put it in, worked like new. So very good customer service with them. Uh, so that was, yeah, actually very cool. But yeah, uh, lunchbox lockers in the front and rear. So I, they're not, because the front and the rear is welded and is a pain to drive. And I'm pretty sure that's why when I put this in full drive, you can't turn the wheel. It's so bad. Comment below if you think you know that sort of problem. I'm not sure. If that is the problem or not, like you put it in full drive and you can't, it's like those steering's lock and you take it out of full drive, steering turns. But it is pretty hard to turn because of the, uh, it's like you have to hit the gas and pick up the weight off the front end to get it to turn. That is the easiest way I can explain it. But yeah, pretty sure that's why, because I've never had welded discs in any Jeep I've ever had. We did want to weld one. I'm glad I didn't, but we did want to. I never did, but that is a pain. And I don't want that. <laughs> it is awful. It drives straight and drives really good. 
I've hit 75 miles an hour in this thing. Uh, and it's nothing. I don't have death wobble or anything. Probably because they replaced Seth and his brother replaced the whole front end, all the front end pieces when I got it, or before I got it on my way out to get it. They replaced all the front end pieces, so everything under there is brand new. Steering stabilizer, truck arm, and all that, it's all new. And uh, the bushings are good too, and all that. I do have a new power steering pump and a new alternator here to put on it because my alternator is kind of crappy in this. And uh, I put a new battery, I didn't put a new battery, I put the battery from the Focus in this because my other battery shot and it's under warranty, so I'm going to go get it exchanged but it stopped doing what it was doing it's like it's like charging again so but i'm still gonna put the new alternator on it just because uh, i really want to and then the new power steering pump which i thought was the issue with the, the turning issue i'm still going to change it because it could possibly be a weak power steering pump so i'm gonna just go ahead and change it anyway and that way it's a very good pump and uh, i know it works and then we could go from there we could put a new locker in it and fix it, I hope. Uh, and I know I need new um, U-joints in the CV axles. So, yeah. Other than that, it's a great Jeep. <laughs> lifted four and a half inches, 35, I've already said that. But it's all rough country lift. It's lifted right. Springs, shocks, everything's under there. It's even got these bars. Uh, I think these are extra when you buy them. Like you, you have to pay extra to get those, so that's pretty cool. And uh, the only thing, I, the only thing is, I think they put an add a leaf and they put a shackle. So it's like a shackle, an add a leaf, and they made these. I don't know if y'all can see that. These are homemade. These little bars. It's like somebody made them, drilled them in, or whatever, and then hooked the shackles to them. It's almost like the leaf spring's almost straight. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's legit almost straight. Um, so I will be fixing that in the near future. So I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if I like that. Because uh, it, it, the rear rides like, like ass. <laughs> the front rides good, but the rear is like ass. When you go over something, it's just like, doom. So, but yeah, I will be fixing this in the near future. Love the bumpers. There are full metal bumpers on there. Look, <laughs> I just noticed that. I taped this up with my green tape <laughs> and it matches the paint. <laughs> Can't even tell as door handles. <laughs> but yeah, that was just an update. And uh, stay tuned for that surprise that I'm going to give you guys. You're going to hate me. You're going to be like, oh my. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. Anyway, peace.